Not exaggerating, mate. Really not. Autodesk yesterday released Inventor 2022.1, the subscription incremental update for Inventor. Uh, I'm not an Inventor channel anymore, but I test Inventor on the regular with Invmark, obviously my benchmark test for, in, for Inventor, uh, developed with Kara Group. And Dell sent me a new laptop out yesterday. I was going through the motions with that. I installed Inventor, I installed Invmark, run the tests, and I was absolutely staggered at the score that this laptop produced. You, you need to be subscribed if you're not already, to see this laptop. It will change your perception on laptops, the way they're headed. I'm going to show you it, or I'm going to show you the score in this video. But that then highlighted this update from Autodesk. Go and install this update, because after you click the close button, your inventor performance will uplift like I've never seen it happen before. Now, it's not like this is the first time in Autodesk's 30-odd year history that they've just decided to put some work in and make things faster. It's because Invmark exists now to highlight the performance gains in point areas. And I'm going to show you this. So let's hop on over to the leaderboard. This is Formula Win. This is my i9-10900K system that I developed Invmark on. This run of 45470 was the run that I did upon launching Invmark. This was me uploading the very first score to the leaderboard, announcing Invmark. It was me saying, this is what I think will be probably one of the best scores <laughs> that's ever going to happen. I locked all my cores to 5.3 gigahertz, all 10. Shut down all my services, shut down antivirus, run 10 run loop, and then thought, that's it. This is as good as it's going to get for a long time. I'm going to commit this score, and then let's launch Invmark. And I've since been pummeled down to 39th place. <laughs> because 11th gen happened, and Ryzen happened, and Zen 3 and all that, never, never mind. But that was done on 2022.0. Still, it's a pretty good score, nonetheless. Pay close attention to the open file score from 2022.0, 1398. After installing yesterday's update of 2022.1, my open file score of 1398 jumped to 1889. What the actual f***? What's happened? My open file score is a combination of opening every data set across the benchmark. So when I open a thousand part assemblies, a hundred part jet engines, a hundred part mechanisms, the FVA tests, the ray trace, everything, every data set opened across the course of Invmark combinates up to be the opening files test. Everything is now quicker. Not even marginally, significantly quicker. What the f***? Where's that performance just come from? Assembly build has jumped from 1406 to 1754. Again, what the fuck? Where's that performance come from? The assembly build test is me placing a 1000 part assembly, placing a second one, then constraining it together. Well, actually the first one gets constrained to the origin planes. The second one gets constrained to the first one. And then the third instance gets constrained again. So it's 3,000 parts worth of assembly getting constrained up against each other. That's not an insignificant amount of work being done there in an assembly build benchmark test. And that is now jumped from 1406 to 1754. Absolutely crazy gains. Overall, assembly tests have jumped from 1449 up to 1710. <laughs> Where? What? Uh, I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh... FEA appears to have dropped a little bit. But anything that's dropped, I'm a bit hesitant to draw some conclusions because, like I said at the start, this test here was done with all 10 cores locked at 5.3 gigahertz, whereas this one is done at more stock frequencies. So I'd be, uh, I'd be hesitant to draw conclusions from dropped tests and I'd Probably want to see some more data come in first before I draw any, draw any conclusions on that. But if you're thinking, well, how can you draw conclusions from that? And then you're taking conclusions from gains. All right, so I've obviously run tests on something else. So I'll take this laptop here. So on 2022.0, this is a Dell Precision 7550 mobile workstation with a Xeon 10th Gen uh, 10885M. So on 2022.0, it scored 39971. And then with 2022.1, it jumped to 49.33. That's a thousand point gain. That's again, not an insignificant jump. The open file score has jumped from 12.13 to 
to 1572. Assembly build jumped from 1228 to 1395. That's not massive, but it's still a pretty decent jump. But assemblies in general jumped from 1284 up to 1438. So because the score generally was quite lower, it, this, again, it's not such a big percentage gain, but it is still a significant jump up. It's still free performance. So yeah, go and get that update. It's free performance. It really is pretty free performance. So this laptop that I want to show you, I don't know if you're ready to see this because this is going to hurt a lot of people. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to show you this. If, if you've got a very expensive laptop, I'm just going to warn you, this might upset you. Don't blame me for this. It's, I'm just showing you the facts. Install the update first, 2022.1, then run in for Mark. Uh, if you want, first see your score before you watch the rest of this, if you want. So, I'm going to put all the filters on, laptops that have run Inventor 2022. So far, in total, 62 laptops have run Invmark with Inventor 2022. And in that, we've got all kinds of laptops. We've got all kinds of HP Z books, right? ZBook 15 G6 with you know, mobile Xeons. We've got tons of HP Z books, actually, with i7 8th gens. We've got MSI GL65s. We've got MSI Stealths. We've got Origin laptops in here. We've got Lenovo ThinkPads uh, with i9s in there. We've got everything under the sun is run in Mark now with um, Inventor 2022. GS66 Stealths, Lenovo Legions. Uh, we've got Gigabyte laptops. We've got ThinkPad P7Es. On the front page, we've got ZBook Fury 17. That ain't going to be cheap. That's a Xeon 10th Gen 10885M, 64 gigs of RAM with a Quadro RTX 3000. Origin, we've got a desktop class i9 9900K with 64 gigs. Some incredibly powerful laptops have been running in Vmark with Inventor 2022. The laptop that Dell sent me has beaten them all. It came in third place with 42,616, and it's a Dell Latitude 9420, and it scored 42,616 points, and it's beaten everything I've just shown you. Do you know what a Dell Latitude 9420 is? I'm, I'm really, I, I apologize in advance if you've spent an awful lot of money on a laptop for Autodesk Inventor. It's not. I appreciate it isn't as simple as this. Buy a laptop that does more than just... It's a bigger conversation. I, I appreciate that. But it's still going to sting. A Dell Latitude 9420 is that. It's a 14-inch thin and light slash convertible tablet. And it has beaten everything on the leaderboard. I'm not joking. It doesn't even have a graphics card in it. It's got onboard Intel Iris Xe graphics. For all intents and purposes, it could have 16 gigs of RAM. It has an i7 1185G7 4 core. It's not a power saving CPU, but it's an Evo CPU. It's it's a thin and light. It's a thin and light. That is the third best laptop that's ever run in Vmark. It's ahead of mobile workstations that are like upwards of five, six grand. What the actual f is going on right now with laptops? It's good news. <laughs> if you haven't bought a laptop yet. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. I, I'm not the best pleased myself. I mean, I've bought the XPS 13 with the 1165 G7, and it is significantly lower in performance than the 1185 G7. Yeah, if you're thinking to yourself, whoa, hang on a minute, mate. Whoa, you, but you, you've, you've run 22.1 with that laptop, and everyone else has run regular 2022. That's not fair because you've got the you've got the benefits of the extra performance. Mm, no, not not quite. Because my mobile workstation that I showed you before had twenty twenty two point one on, so I put the filters back on. A little bit irritated now they reset themselves. Note to self: don't reset the filters like that. Uh, this laptop here, this is my Dell Precision seventy five fifty mobile workstation with a tenth gen Xeon. That's a three grand plus high-end mobile workstation, and it scores 4993 on 2022.1. And the Latitude beat it. Also, forgot to mention that Latitude scored the absolute highest score for opening files. 
So that, that's kind of what eluded me to the... Because when I ran the info, I was like, how the hell has this latitude scored the fastest ever opening file score? Like, how is that even possible? It's just, it's got a bog standard solid state drive in it. I mean, it's an M.2 NVMe based one, but it's just a, like a regular old Western digital one. And that's what kind of pointed me in the direction of the, the new 2022.1 update. But yeah, 1944, the fastest ever opening file score was done on that latitude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do a review on that laptop. Uh, there's, I appreciate there's more to it than that. You know, not having onboard graphics is a, a significant handicap in other areas. You know, a, a mobile workstation does have other benefits, you know, multiple display outputs and connectivity. And yeah, yeah, there's, uh, it's not as black and white as that. But come on, a thin and light, the portability, the battery life, to then just be able to pull it out and have that much power in your 3D card application. That's unheard of. Thanks for watching. Like I say, get subscribed if you want to see the review. I'm going to have tons more stuff like that coming up. Uh, spoiler alert as well, I'm going to probably be renaming the channel soon. Just the whole TFI thing is, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's something I came up with sort of four or five years ago. And yeah, it, I, I'm, I need to rename and rebrand the channel to something that's more meaningful to the content that I'm doing now. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a, you know, an announcement video for that when it actually happens, but I just thought I'd mention it now just so it doesn't come as a surprise to people who watch this. There you go. That's all I've got. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel and continuing to do stuff like this, uh, my currency is likes and subscriptions. That tells YouTube's algorithms that more people like you might want to see it. Uh, also, if you're thinking about buying Inventor or subscribing to it, then I've got a link in the description to my website where I have a, a link to an affiliate site where Autodesk show you their discounts. And if you buy or subscribe to a, an Autodesk license through my link, then Autodesk pay me for sending you their way without it costing you any more. Thank you very much. That's all I've got. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.